How long, how long must we sing this song? I'm going to go off on the IAEA today, the NRC, and how they've broken our sacred trust. Not only just broken a handshake deal on a sacred trust, that's what everybody thinks it is. Thinks it, oh no, these are legal binding contracts. Legal, congressional contracts in the NRC. Worldwide contracts, and you people in Europe are going to have to step up because that's ignorant fucking debating society. Far left fucking latte drinking tomato eating fucking debating pussies ain't gonna do nothing. The events at Fukushima reinforced that any nuclear accident with public health and safety or environmental consequences of that magnitude is inherently unacceptable. While we focused on the radiological consequences of this event, I believe we can cannot ignore the large social and economic consequences such an event poses to any country with a nuclear facility that deals with such a crisis. In Japan, more than 90,000 people remain displaced from their homes and land, with some having little prospect for a return to their previous lifestyle in the foreseeable future. While not easy to characterize, these are significant hardships on these people, and they are inherently unacceptable. So as we look to the future, and we look in a proactive way, we ultimately will have to address the issue of how we deal with, with nuclear events that lead to significant land contamination and displacement, perhaps permanently, of people from their homes and their livelihoods and their communities. What you just heard was the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's chairman, Gregory Yasko, saying that the NRC doesn't take into account mass evacuations and people not getting back on their land for centuries when it does a cost-benefit analysis as to whether or not a nuclear plant should be licensed. I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds and today I'm at the Regulatory Information Conference put on by the NRC in Washington DC. So today I'm in Washington DC. A couple weeks ago though I was in Tokyo and when I was in Tokyo, I took some samples. Now, I didn't look for the highest radiation spot. I just went around with five plastic bags. And when I found an area, I just scooped up some dirt and put it in the bag. One of those samples was from a crack in the sidewalk. Another one of those samples was from a children's playground that had been previously decontaminated. Another sample had come from some moss on the side of the road. Another sample came from a, um, um, the, the roof of an office building that I was at. And the last sample was right across the street from the main judicial center in downtown Tokyo. Well, I brought those samples back, declared them through customs, and sent them to the lab. And the lab determined that all of them would be qualified as radioactive waste here in the United States and would have to be shipped to Texas to be disposed of. Now think about the ramifications for the nation's capital, whether it's Tokyo or the United States. How would you like it if you went to pick your flowers and were kneeling in radioactive waste? That's what's happening in Tokyo now. And I think that's the point that Chairman Yasko was trying to make. When the Nuclear Regulatory Commission does its cost-benefit analyses now, it doesn't take into account the cost to society if you have to evacuate for generations or if you have to move 100,000 people, perhaps forever. There's 100 miles between us and about a dozen nuclear power plants here in Washington, D.C. Fukushima was almost 200 miles away from Tokyo. And yet Tokyo soil, in some places, the ones I just happened to find, would qualify as radioactive waste here in the States. How would we feel if our nation's capital were contaminated to that degree? So I agree with Chairman Yasko. New nukes and old nukes that are being relicensed should include as a cost in their analysis what we've learned to be happening in Tokyo and in Japan. Let's be clear, let's be clear, the NRC, let's first start with those evil fucks. These, okay, 40 years ago when they built these things, 40 years ago when they built these things, we had a sacred promise. 
given it to us by the NRC. They are the governing watchdog who is watching our back. The IAEA is the governing body who's got our back. Sacred oath promises that they would watch our back as this thing's going on. You can build these plants, but these agencies will control them and regulate them. These are not just sacred handshakes. These are legal binding contracts through Congress as far as the NRC. The guy who's head of the NRC is a brownie. Now, I don't have to explain what a brownie is. I hope, I hope we're not that ignorant. <laughs> What's that mean? He has no experience with the nuke, none. His name's Jacko. It was a gift job by the Obama administration to him. He has no clue. He gets on the hill, they ask him questions you could see. You might as well be speaking Mandarin Chinese. He doesn't know. He hasn't got a clue. That's the people. These are legal contracts through Congress. I intend to fully intend to sue them. If I could survive this, I'm going to sue them. I am going to sue the IEA. The IEA, Europe's going to have to step up on this. They have binding contracts. Okay, well, how, how, how do you get on that board? We have 44 of the world's experts. Quote, quote, quote. Let's dig out their quote, verbatim, so I don't get this wrong. Here was their conclusion. Fukushima, the greatest nuclear catastrophe in the history of the world that will kill tens of millions of people. It will kill tens of millions. Look, the Tsar bomb as it went off was nothing compared to this. It killed a million in the interim. It killed fucking tens of millions. That's fact, gilded and gold. Chernobyl has killed hundreds of thousands of people. This is the biggest nuclear catastrophe in the history of the world, bar none. It is Chernobyl on Balco. I do I have to explain Balco? I guess I do. I share it's Balco. You know, this country is so ignorant it blows my mind. The debating society, we sit back. Here's their th conclusion. The task is never done. Wow! Wow! The greatest, these fuckers need to be sued. How do you get into that group? Is it a 1% elite group? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Does the nuclear industry support it? Oh yeah. Have they infiltrated it just like lobbyists? Oh yeah. Are they breaking the law? Fuck yes. Are they crimes against humanity? Fuck yes. Let's get on our list of fucking crimes against humanity. As you motherfuckers murdered my father. This philosophy murdered my father. You think, and now you're trying to murder me. You think I'm going to sit back like a guy emailed me. He says, oh God, you got cancer. When you get cancer, you just sit back and hope to die. I'm tired of listening to that fight. You live in a different world than me, motherfucker. I've been to the edge. I have been that close to death, so close to fucking death it is unreal, as this is a fight from hell. As soon as I got enough strength, I went on offense. I will not sit back and play fucking defense. I will not just sit back and play fucking defense like all you haters do. I'm on the offense. I think that's the only way. If you have a legitimate way to survive cancer, I think the people that survive fucking cancer are the people that go on offense. I will not lay down there and play fucking defense and just let fucking doctors fill me with fucking drugs and that's the only fucking thing I, oh no, I'm going to go down kicking, screaming, fighting. Look, as the greatest World War II fucking decorated man in history said, as he said as they tried to pin his chest with fucking medals, take your fucking medals and go fuck yourself as he said. You think I was fighting for this fucking flag? I was fighting to save my mom and dad's farm. You think I'm fighting for some fucking flag? My father was nuked to death. Then me. Well, I have two new little fucking grandchildren. I have a bunch of grandchildren. You people have grandchildren. Future generations. Do I want them to get killed like me? Do I want them to go through this nightmare like me? Do I want them to go through the night? Fuck no. Fuck no. That's who I fight for. I'm fighting. I'm fighting for my own fucking namesake, for your namesake, for future generations, for kids. I don't want them to fight. I watch in there. I don't want them to go through what 20-year-olds go through there and watch their lives mowed down in their prime. No, that's who I fight for. And these fuckers, the crimes against humanity list. Let's be clear. Who is the crimes against humanity? Let's fucking not just go off into La La Ville where you go. Let's be clear. This is legal. This is legal. These are legal binding contracts of the IEAA. They are corrupt. They are legal. They're fucking corrupt as corrupt. They did not do their job by law that they promised they would do in writing, in congressional fucking law. In European law, in fucking laws all over the fucking world, TEPCO, number one, they're the criminals.